In this video I'm going to show you how I turn my rusty steel wheels from looking like this to looking like this. So let's get cracking and I will show you exactly how I'm going to do it. The first thing to do is to jack up the van and the jack in the VW Crafter is located on the passenger side at the front. So let's see where the jack is and then I will show you how to jack up the front of the van. So this is where the jack is located just at the feet of the passenger side. So it's got a coin slot but you can also just use your two fingers, press it down like so and then it'll pop up then that will give you access to where the jack is located but because I've already done the two side wheels yesterday I'm just going to jack up the van now and show you how to do that in the VW Crafter and maybe the Sprinter also because they were both built in the same factory prior to 2016 the jack handle is in three pieces so what you've got to do is assemble it and you basically just slot it one into the other press down this pin here and then slot it into the corresponding hole in the other bar there we go now let me show you where I'm going to place this jack under the van for the front this is the location for the jack at the front of the van right here and what you want to do is you want to put the jack under it you can pull the jack up and place the jack under the exact spot that you want it to go and just line it up like so so then when the jack is in place what you want to do is you want to tighten up this screw here and then that will stop the jack from falling down so the way you do that is with the bar you just slot it in there turn it right switch the bar around and then slot the bar in here now the next thing you want to do is jack up the van so just keep an eye on the jack before you jack up your car or your van before you take off the wheel you've got to loosen the bolt nuts on the actual wheel first and the way you do that is you've got this wrench and that's going to loosen them and what you've got to do is make sure that you're pushing down this way as opposed to pulling this way if you're pulling that way you're bending over and you can actually damage your back so it's very important to do it this way and I'll show you what I mean now the lug nuts were difficult to loosen with just a wrench so I used some box iron to give me some extra leverage now that I finally got those lug nuts off which took quite a lot of effort and I probably wouldn't have got them off only for I've got that long box iron that I will be making a hammock out of so stay tuned that will be in a different vlog so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jack the front of the van and then take off the lug nuts from the wheel remove the wheel and then we will get sanding in the rust I didn't show it here but once I had the van jacked up I placed a spare wheel under the van and that was just in case anything happened to jack I didn't want the van hitting off the ground so this is the wheel and as you can see it's got some slight rust to it not too bad what I need to do is remove all the rust spots and get it back to the bare metal then what I'll do is I'll use this electric drill I've got two wire brushes this smaller one and a bigger head I'll wire brush all those rust spots particularly around the holes so what I'll use on the edges here is I'll use the 60 grit first when I'm doing it by hand and that's that's it there it's really coarse and then what you want to do is use a finer one 120 grit here and then finally use the 220 this is a, a, a much finer one. You want to use the 220 all over the wheel. That means that the paint, the primer, will stick to the wheel. And you'll also get a nice smooth finish. So that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with that. Get it all sanded. Then I will show you the next step of how to mask it off. Getting it ready for the primer. Before we start sanding the wheel, you've got to clean all the gunk and the grease off the wheel rim. That's because if you've got any grease or gunk, the primer won't stick to the wheel. So what I'm using to clean it is very simply vinegar. Vinegar is really good for getting off any grime or grease. I used it on those two wheels and it worked really well. So what you want to do is get yourself 
some old cloths like that and then dip them in vinegar and clean all the wheel. So we're going to do that and then start sanding. Let's get cracking. Not only is vinegar good for fish and chips, vinegar is also great for dirt and grime. I've gone over this with the wire brush and the electric drill. That got rid of most of the rust and then what I did was I went over the remaining rust spots with 60 grit sandpaper and just gave the whole lot of it a, a sanding with the 60 grit sandpaper. Now what I'm going to do is go over that again with the 120 grit sandpaper and that will uh, smooth it out, get rid of any scratches and then finally 220 sandpaper. That will make sure that I, I get a nice smooth finish. It's important to start with a coarse sandpaper in order to get rid of all the rust and then to work your way down to a finer sandpaper and that will allow you to get a smooth finish on the wheel. The wheel has now been fully sanded then I give it a final sanding with 220 grit sandpaper so as to key it and then that will allow the primer and the paint to stick to the wheel. Before I mask it off what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the wheel fully with some clean spirits so it's a safer alternative to white spirits. It doesn't have that really strong chemical smell and uh, it's biodegradable, non-toxic. That's just going to remove any dust so after sanding it it's still quite dirty. It's important not to skip this step and give the wheel a good clean before you begin to spray it with primer. Next you need to stick masking tape on the wheel around the edge of the steel rim but make sure not to stick any masking tape on the steel rim otherwise you will not cover the steel rim with the paint. You want to go around the outer edge with a screwdriver and that's to make sure that the masking tape isn't actually stuck to the rim because what happens is if you stick the masking tape to any bit of the rim then you won't coat the rim and you'll miss it and it'll look shit. So what you want to do is just run around with a screwdriver like so. So you want to make sure that the masking tape is sticking to the wheel and not the edge of the rim. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it one coat of primer and then I'm going to give it two coats of this wheel trim, stealth black, two coats of that. And then finally I'll give it two coats of that clear lacquer and that'll just give it a nice bit of protection and high gloss. What you want to do is shake it in, like so, for about two minutes. And then, when you're spraying it on, you want to keep the can moving the whole time. You don't want to stop in one place, because if you stop in one place, you will potentially get a drip and it won't go on evenly. So you can put it on as heavy as you want, but you just want to keep the can moving. When you start, move first and then spray. So let's give that a go. The trick to getting a good smooth finish is to keep the can moving. Begin with short rapid spraying and as you get more confident progress to longer slower spraying. The next thing to do is to clean the hubcaps. So I cleaned the hubcaps with the white spirits, wiped them down, make sure there was no dirt or grime or grease on them. And now I've given them the first coat, well I've, I've given them one coat of primer and I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to give them probably two coats of black and then give it a coat of lacquer to give it a nice shine and protect it. Allow 15 minutes between coats for the paint to dry. Then remove the masking tape when you're finished. So let's put this wheel back on and then we can start on the back one and finish off the hubcaps. I'm not going to record the back one because it's basically the same as the front one. It's got a different jack point. I will show you where the jack point is on the back of the van. Unfortunately, the camera's battery died here. This is the jack point for the back wheel, just here. Unfortunately the battery died on the camera so I'm now at the back wheel on the opposite side. Just to explain how you put these back on, once you have this put back on, you then put back on the lug nuts and you tighten them by hand. Then you can let down the jack, then once the jack has been let down, you can then fully tighten them. So you're supposed to tighten these lug nuts with a torque wrench. I don't have a torque wrench. When I bring this to the garage to get the two front tires replaced, I will get them to torque this up to the correct whatever it's supposed to be. The last thing to do is to put on the hubcap. The hubcap turned out really well. 
So all you have to do then is line it up with the lug nuts, pop it in place. That is now the wheel complete. The four wheels now have been cleaned up and sprayed, so I'm really happy with how they've turned out. It makes the van look a lot tidier and cleaner, and it also works well with the color scheme of the van, which is yellow and black. The last thing I have to do is to clean the spare wheel, which is really, really rusty because I've left it out in the weather during the winter. That's another job now completed on the van build. I've got the wheels all cleaned up and sprayed and it's looking really well so I'm very happy with how it's turned out. I'd highly recommend it to anyone thinking of cleaning up their wheels, their steel wheels, to do it if they want to make their van or car look a bit tidier. So if you enjoyed the episode please do give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell icon up there somewhere. That means you'll be the first to be notified for future videos when I release them on this channel. Until next time, good luck.